and queens, my name is Natushi. Who are you? Today, what we're gonna go through is USDT, BTC, and Ethereum. These two are correlating against each other when you're looking at USDT against the BTC and Ethereum. So of course, we need to go in and see what's happening on USDT. We have broken above the resistance at 8.10%, which means that if we hold this as a support, this can be the momentum up to 8.40, which means that if we're going to BTC and Ethereum, we're obviously going to go to the opposite direction but we just might see the market push back up a little bit so i'll give you the targets i'll give you the scenarios so continue to look at this video and don't forget i'm no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first but before that if you are looking for a platform to trade cryptocurrencies on, then you have right now, together with me and Bitflix, when you are depositing a hundred dollars, when you are using the link in the description down below my video, also pinned in the corner right here, when you're depositing those hundred and when you're placing your first trade, you will get a ten dollars back on that. It is a leverage trading platform from 2x to 100x and you don't need any KYC. So this is what's so good with Bitflex. You don't need any KYC. A lot of other platforms does want you to have this. If you have never used this platform before, I have a great tutorial video for you to be able to look at so you know exactly on how to use this platform. Another thing before we are getting into the charts, if you are looking for a great strategy when the market is going sideways on the cryptocurrencies, you can look at this video right here somewhere here and this is where i show you how we are trading from support to resistance from resistance to support because the market is not trending at the moment but we can still take advantage of the sideways market that we're in as long as we know how to do that so now we're going to continue to look at usdt b2c and ethereum hello once again <laughs> annoying voice well, either way, so we're starting off with looking at USD today. And of course, USD is going against what BTC is doing. So it's always good to combine these two together. I'm always telling you that on my live stream, guys. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so you know when I have the live stream or when I do have my daily updates. But at this time, when it comes to USDT, looking at the weekly chart, we have one, two, three, and we got so it is four days left of this candlestick but we do have a lot of wicks right now and we're testing the previous high at 8.15 percent on the monthly candlestick we do have a pretty bullish candlestick that broke above one of the trend lines that we do have so breaking it down to the lower time frames we have seen how the market did break above the previous resistance at 8.10 percent so we can still find this as a new support for the market to continue to the previous high that we have around 8.40 percent and looking at the monthly candlestick we have the previous high at 8.80 percent but you know we have this wick up to this previous high that i would not be surprised of course we need to see how the market is behaving around the resistance on the four hourly because if we are breaking below it we can continue to be inside of the sideways market that we do have so the resistance on usdt is really important for us to have in mind at 8.10 percent going to be to see now if we see the market drop down a little bit and as i spoke about on the previous videos that i had is that on btc we are still consolidating between 25,895 and the support 25,600 so everything also depends if you know whatever usdt is gonna do um, if we continue to see the market giving us the rejections around this resistance or if we are only taking one fib level also from the lowest point to the high it's pretty good combined with the previous resistance that we do have so if we find the market need to retest this level once again and that is of course the the next momentum that can, that we can have to the downside as i said before a break above this level can take us up to around twenty six thousand. Uh, 500 600 but everything depends on how the market is behaving around this resistance looking at what the daily did before it's just the opposite to what uct has been doing on uct we see a lot of weeks to the upside on b2c we see a lot of weeks to the downside so patient patient right going to uh, ethereum we have the exact same thing here we are continuing to go sideways we have another 
pretty strong a, a sideways market so from this level this is where we have seen at 1650 this is where we have seen the market giving us the resistance so of course once again do we retest this level once again uh, for the next momentum down or do we pull back up to 1663 1678 can you know can definitely be a level that is also combined with the previous resistance but we are below the the support so if this is the new resistance and we're going to see a lot of tops here that can be the preparation before the market do have the next momentum down so we're still just waiting for the market to give us i i do believe that we'll have a, a leg up before we see the market having the momentum down today on usd we also have some announcement happening it is the first week of the month so we usually have some job claims uh, announcements happening from august so we have within oh is it tomorrow we have one two that is going to affect the market a lot going down to tomorrow thursday is the biggest day tomorrow where we have more red folders that can affect the market on usd also of course so how this is going to affect the market we'll see for us uh, usd usdt as i said we're looking at the previous resistance and if we find this as a support this can be the momentum up because you know following what structure has uh, or is giving us we can see that the market is oh my microphone was at the other opposite way so i need to change it hope you can hear me better now oh sorry so yeah we're waiting for the market to give us the retest if we have a break below it can take us back down a little bit more because we are going inside the sideways market and as always don't forget to follow me on my twitter this is where i do give a lot of updates just with charts and we're slowly instead of gonna go in more into indices forex now because the market is a little bit slow so please comment in the section down below of the video if you are more interested when it comes to indices i took a trade yesterday on spx 500 i entered a short position take profit one got hit today i do have my take profit a little bit further down for the rest of them but yeah so you know since i started to trade indices was actually the first thing that i was trading so if you are interested i know that there's a lot of crypto people in here but as i've been saying in my youtube streams is that we can obviously collect more money if we're looking at the bigger picture if we start to look at indices forex pairs because the market on btc is very stagnant and i of course myself want to have money right so if you are interested please comment in the section down below the video i already told you this but i'm super excited i'm gonna give you a link to the platform that i'm using during this week so you can also be able to do this you will be able to trade crypto forex indices metal like gold silver on this platform too so if you are as excited as me then uh, you tell me that but don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification so you know when i am live next time so you don't miss the opportunity to have that type of broker because it is amazing so have a great day everyone we see each other on the next live stream <laughs> As always, have a good day. <laughs>